Okay, guys and girls, your boy Old Five Dynasty. I got breaking news, breaking news. <laughs> so I did a four part, like four or five part series yesterday, and I'm gonna jump back into that, okay? That's gonna be like the video that follows this one. I just had to jump in here with another video today because I wanted to point something out. Yesterday I was talking about you know, stop blaming other people for your mistakes or your problems. And I was pointing out some gamers that I was playing with and they were actually doing that. They did that to me in the matches. And they flamed me on my YouTube channel. Then when I went back to their YouTube channel and checked it out, one of them doesn't even have any content up. Okay, that's my food. One of them doesn't even have any content up. The other one was a young lady and she has one video up that was recorded six years ago and she was singing. So I gave her flack about you know, her singing, you know? So she, just, so she went deeper into, like, you know, trying to disrespect me on her on her channel, saying, like, oh, you're 40 years old, you're embarrassed, embarrassing yourself and all this other stuff. And correction, I'm 43 years old. <laughs> and anything that people say about, about me doesn't affect me. I put myself out there the way I want to put myself out there. So... That's a disclaimer. There's nothing I can say. I, I've heard it all, man. I've heard it all from my pops disrespecting me to like teachers disrespecting me at school to like people who hate my guts disrespecting me. I've heard it all. There's nothing that's going to affect me. It's not going to change me. You're not going to shake me. I'm, I'm not going to budge. What can I say? You know what I mean, if you want the smoke, I'm going to bring the smoke. I'm peaceful, but I could bring the smoke. Anyway. So the breaking news is I get on my YouTube channel today because I'm waiting to see if they're gonna come back with a response because I made a I made a response on her on her channel and it got deleted. She deleted my response. She didn't want to smoke. You know what I mean, so it's all right, cool. So then I went back on my channel. So I said, well, she's gonna keep deleting my replies to her on her channel. I just I'll reply under the reply that she, the the comment that she made on my channel. So I, the, and my reply is simple. There's a link to the video that was describing, you know what I'm saying, my my thought process on what what was taking place. And it was about them, about those two gamers, right? So I put the video so they could go and check out the video and see what I was saying. I get online today and their comments are removed off of my channel. So they removed the comments. So my thought process is like, why? Why even start? Why go start with somebody if you can't handle the smoke? I'm not trying to be for people, but I'm not going to let people tear me down either. I'm not going to let you come on my YouTube channel, talk smack, and I'm just going to like be okay with that. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. And, and I wasn't disrespectful. I was just stating facts. That's it. See, a lot of people, they they go to this the disrespectful route because they don't have no comeback for you. They can't mess with you, man. And when they can't mess with you, they try to body shame you, talk about your parents, talk about your age. Like, I'm the same person. Like, actually, 20 years ago, I was worse. I was worse. Like, I would, I, if you literally watch my video, if you watch the video, okay, I never said their name. I never posted their gamer tags. I never even posted a link back to their YouTube channel because I'm not about that. I'm not trying to disrespect you. I didn't even post the gameplay. I didn't even post the gameplay. Most people would have put the gameplay up there, the gamer tags, or just called them this, called them all this and that. I was just simply explaining my thought process. So I never came at them and I never, I never disrespected them. I never even spoke to them first. They spoke to me first. They started flaming me first. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then now when I speak back, because I'm defending myself, like any man should do or any woman should do, they start with the insults and saying this and saying that. And I'm just, all everything that I said was just factual. Facts. And then they can't handle the heat and they delete the comment. So I, I'll let it be. 
But it goes to show you, like, this world is just full of just toxic people, negative people, people that will never get it. Mentally, they think they have it all. They know it all. <laughs> it's just sad, dude. And it's, it's not just them. It was two. It was two games. I think it probably they probably was a couple. I think it's a guy and a girl. You know what I mean? Because they moving, they moving like too close. They gotta be friends or something because they can't be randoms. Because why? Both their comments are gone. Both their comments are removed. So they're talking behind the scenes. You know what I mean? And if it was just two random people that came to my channel. That other person wouldn't even know that this person just deleted their comment. Uh, it's crazy because, like, at the end of the day, man, I don't think you. If you don't have thick skin, you shouldn't be on the internet. And you can't, you know, don't don't try to dish stuff out if you can't handle it. I tell people all the time, Google me, man. You when you Google me, all my information come up. So like, I'm not hiding, dude. I'm I'm here. I'm here. And most of the time, when you Google people, you can't even find them. They they're no, they're, I don't want to say nobody, but they're like randoms, man. They don't even have anything going for themselves. So when they when they're trying, when people are trying to disrespect you, ninety percent of the time they have nothing going for themselves. Literally nothing. They work in their nine to five job, and that's it. That's it. They don't have no type of cred at all. The, at least I have people in the game that can vouch for me. Like I have, like I if, and if, and I have receipts. So like, you go on my hard. I got old hard drives. You go on my old hard drives. I pull up. I pull up. I can literally pull up the website right now that I designed from Little to Mob Deep. Shout out to Little to Mob Deep. You know what I'm saying? Like literally, like I work with industry people. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I have receipts. I'm in a studio with industry people, learning from them, talking with them, building with them, understanding the game, you know, just or just sitting there watching and stuff, you know. I'm but and most of the time when I'm there, I'm there with my twin, you know, I'm worse from True Legend, and I was taking the pictures, I was doing the video. So a lot of times you won't even see me in the footage because I'm the one holding the damn camera. <laughs> you know what I mean? So like, and it's good we documented, but yeah. So literally. The only, the only thing that I just I have not done in the game was I haven't put out all the stuff that I've done to all the people I've worked with. I haven't told people because I, I don't want to come up off of that. I don't want to be like that person that be like, oh, I got my publications. I got my articles done because I did something for somebody else. That's what that's what I'm trying to stay away from. I'm trying to build up old five dynasty as old five dynasty. I wanted to, when they, when they be like his his upbringing came from because he did this, like on his own. He built up old five dynasty on his own. That's my food. Give me one second. Yeah, yeah, it's your boy old five dynasty. <laughs> oh yeah, look at this. Looking good. Oh shit, need, I need new oven mitts. Ah, this shit looking good. I can't even show you. Hold on. <laughs> oh. Damn. I'll come back. I'll leave my food sitting there. Let it, let it sit a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Because after this video, I'm going to... <laughs> That's some little barbecue sauce. I got these little... Uh, they like chicken things, but wrapped in like breading. Oh, whew. can't wait to dive into that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But yeah, man, that's breaking news, though, man. Delete the comments. Wow. And I, I'm not, I'm not gonna delete my comments. I said it. I'm gonna leave it there. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. Say, like, don't say something that you're gonna regret. You gotta live. You gotta, man. You just gotta live, live with your, with your actions, man. That, I've learned that. You gotta live with your actions. Don't. Don't try to fall back on it, man. Don't try to. I mean, you could, you could. There's also like, you know, there's apologies and things like. Like, I, if I do something that I'm wrong, then I, I'll apologize. But then I won't. I won't. Like that. That apology is part of history. Everything's a part of history. Like your actions or your negative actions is part of history. Then the apology is your redemption arc. Then it's a part part of history. And you keep moving. I mean, like, like yeah, people go back and they retract and they do all this crazy shit now. Like I never understood that when people go online, they they make a comment 
And then like the media makes a big a big thing about it, and then they delete the comment and they retract their statement, and do all this other stuff, and they go on this apology thing, apology tour, trying to get people to like them again. I never understood that because no. I said that comment because I meant that comment and I meant that comment at that time. Yeah, now I, I might apologize because now I understand the impact of what that comment did to somebody. You know what I mean? But I'm but at that time, that's how I felt. So I'm going to leave that the history there and I'm just going to keep it moving. Yeah. So, <laughs> crazy, man. And I, I've done some stuff and I, I've had to apologize in the past. You know, and people have done stuff to me, but they didn't they don't apologize to me though. <laughs> I guess I'm not worthy of apology, right? <laughs> people would be so salty at your boy old five dynasty. You'd be so crazy, man. Like there's literally people walking around, like people on the internet right now, they hate me, son. They hate me, dude. <laughs> and they and I just laugh at it because yo, that's their personal problem. They have to deal with it, you know. You don't want to talk to me. You don't want to deal with me. You don't want me around you. That's your personal problem. I don't give a who. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yo. Even like, dude, listen, I have friends on the internet that I made within the last three years. Friends, friends. And then they wind up trying to snake me behind my back. Talking to other people behind my back. Come on, son. Like, that's fucked up, dude. I thought, I thought so highly of these people, especially one person in particular, and this dude snake me, son. That shit is fucked up, son. So fight. I'll never trust another soul on the internet, man. I'll never trust another soul to think, just think like how you can get snake like that, just because somebody doesn't like they don't like the fact that they think that you're talking about them or something, or like your points are actually accurate, and they don't like the fact that your points are accurate, and you're trying to prove their points to be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you do everything in y'all and your everything in your power to try to, to, to discredit me. That's what people do. They do everything in their power to try to discredit O5 Dynasty. No matter what it is, I could be 100% right, but they'll try to figure out some type of way to be like, nah, look at him. He was wrong. He should be doing that. Oh, he's too old to be doing that. Like they, they, they use everything in the book that they think is going to affect me. They try to throw it at me or they talk to other people and say it to them behind my back as if it's going to affect me or to make me change. I'll be 60 years old and I'll be the same way. Actually, even just even better. I'll be a better version of myself, even smarter, more wiser. So you're not you're not going to you're not going to shake me, man. I'm here. I'm here. And the cool thing is I'm not even in your field anymore. Like if you look at my YouTube channel, I don't even post. Like stuff to bring to to put my videos in your algorithm. So I don't post music. I don't I don't put tags about music and all that stuff. Like I don't keywords about music. I don't use other people that it will make my videos pop up in the videos that you watch. And that's purposely done. Like I'm I'm like not even worried about the music industry, the graphic design industry, the video game industry. I'm just doing me. That's it. I'm worried about myself. You know what I mean, so yeah. I, I mentally, I'm gone. I'm leaving all you people alone. I've been gone. And for the people that's online, if I'm playing a video game, if I'm doing, I'm on a forum, I'm on a certain website, and I make a comment. I'm not. I'm technically, I'm not even really worried about you guys. I mind my business. <laughs> I don't even make comments like that. Actually, to be honest, I mind my business, and people be starting shit with me. That's 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 always been a trend of my life, though. I remember when I was in um, Hempstead, young. We just got to Hempstead. Me and Legend just got. We just moved out there with, with my pops. You know. So it's me, Legend, Doughboy, Boy, and my stepmoms. We just got out there. And I remember I was on a basketball court, and these dudes, they, I could see it in their face that they didn't like me. It was just the way I was busting their ass and ball, though. I, I, I come from Brooklyn, so in Brooklyn, you ball out. So I'm, they, and they talking shit. They talking shit. It was two of them. They talking shit. They talking shit a little bit. Not, not like shit shit, but like, you know, like that trash talking. And I remember they got to the point where I was like, yo, just, you know what I'm saying? Just play the game, chill. And they both turned around like they wanted to fight me. So without hesitation, you know what I'm saying? Pop, 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 pop. Cool. Not blah, blah, blah. fuck one of them fast. You know what I'm saying I'm not gonna wait for you to jump me. Blah, blah, blah. Then the other one tried to jump me. My two brothers, yeah, he jumping my brother. This one, oh, he holding his head. You know what I'm saying since I got the fair one with the second one, rocked his ass. I beat the shit out both both these dudes, both of them. And one of them went to go tell his older brother. <laughs> That's another story. You know what I'm saying, but I know people just don't be liking me, son. But what can I do? 